The ability to relate databases is among Notion's most useful features. If you're familiar with my Bulletproof workspace, you know that the core philosophy is to centralize information within related master databases and then create contextual dashboards for accessing that information. And so the roll-up property is a powerful extension of relations. It allows you to automatically populate and aggregate and calculate information for related items. So I'm going to explore the vast utility of roll-ups through a few practical examples. And for your reference, as you practice with roll-ups, you can access those sample databases as a template on Notion VIP. And I'll link to that from this video description. So what is a rollup? Well, like I said, rollups are used in conjunction with relation properties. They allow you to retrieve information for related items. So when an item in one database is related to items in another database, it can retrieve information for another property of that related database. So here we have companies and we have people and each person is related to a company and each person speaks one or more languages as identified by this multi-select property. So for each company, we can retrieve all of the languages represented by the related people. So when you configure a rollup property, what you'll do is you choose the relation property for which you want to retrieve information. In this case, it's the related people. And, and then within that people database, we want to retrieve the information from the languages property. So that's what the second setting is here. And then for those retrieved languages, we want to show unique values. We want to see each language represented by the related people, but we don't want to see any language more than once. So this calculation setting is where you identify what you want to do with the retrieved information. We can show unique values. We can show original values, which will include any duplicates. We can perform calculations on the information. Or in the case of checkboxes, we can show the percentage of completed items. So we'll take a look at all of these examples. So kind of building on our companies and people example, let's take a look at how you would automatically categorize people based on their company. So you can see here that each company is assigned a category within this select property. So what we can do is rather than categorizing each person manually, we can automatically assign them a category according to their company. So each person is of course related to a company and therefore we can use a rollup property where we choose to retrieve information from the related company. The information we want to retrieve is the category and because each company is just going to have one category and each person is just going to have one company, we don't have to worry about duplicates. So we can just show the original value and that's going to keep your information really accurate, consistent, and it's going to eliminate redundancy. So this is one powerful example of how to use rollups to streamline your workflow, automatically populate information. So continuing with our people and companies, let's take a look at how we would calculate the average age of a company's employees. So here we can see that the people database has an age property. It's a number property. So therefore within the company's database, we can use a rollup to retrieve all of the ages for a company's employees and then average them. So the way that this is configured is we're still using that people relation. And then within the people database, this time we want to retrieve the ages of all of the related people. And with those ages, we want to calculate the average. And that's going to give us the average age of the related people for each company. So now that we're a bit more oriented, let's take another look at that languages example. So each person 
within this multi-select property is going to be assigned one or more languages. And so if we want to see all of the languages represented by a company's employees, we can use a roll-up property. And of course, we choose that people relation for the property within the people database. We choose the languages property. And then we just want to show the unique values. And this ability to show unique values is actually relatively new to Notion. Previously, you'd have to view each language multiple times if it was represented multiple times by employees. So that's a nice new feature. So another powerful use of rollups is to summarize numeric information. And that's really well represented in expense tracking. So here we have an expenses database and each expense is going to be related to a category from an expense categories database, as well as a month from a month's database. So these expense categories and months databases serve as sort of classifications of our expenses. And that's going to be an approach that's applicable beyond just expense tracking. You can use categorization and different time frames as classification databases for a variety of items. Another common example would be objectives and goals. So you can view this information grouped by these different classifications, but expenses serve as a really strong example when we're summarizing numeric information. So you can see that each expense is related to a category as well as a month. So within those two classification databases, we can use a roll-up property to total all of the expenses associated with each particular item. So the way that that's configured is for the relation, of course, we want to retrieve information for the related expenses. And then within the expenses database, we want to retrieve the contents of the total property. And what we want to do with that those contents is to add them. So we choose sum here, and that's going to give us our total for each expense category. And then months is going to work the exact same way. Each expense is related to a month. So we use that expenses relation. And then within the expenses database, we want to retrieve the contents of the total property and then we want to add those contents to provide the total for each month. So rather than manually choosing a year for each expense, because each month is related to a year, as we see in this month's database, we can keep our information consistent, accurate, and avoid redundancy by using a roll-up property to calculate the year for each expense. So this is configured by choosing month as the relation. And then from the month's database, what we want to do is we want to retrieve the year and just show the original item. So this is a, another useful approach when you have kind of a grandparent parent child relationship where the the child can inherit the contents of the grandparent it can inherit the grandparent from the parent so then our last example here is going to be calculating the progress of a project so you can see that we have our projects and tasks databases here and kind of by definition a project is going to be a collection of tasks and when the tasks are complete the project is complete so as we complete the task the percentage of completed tasks can represent the project's progress and we can do that with a roll-up property notion allows us to do that when a task is marked complete with a checkbox. So the way that that works is we have this project related to all of these tasks. And if we look at our progress property here, it's a roll up. Of course, we wanna be retrieving information from the related tasks. And the information we wanna retrieve is the complete property. And because that complete property is a checkbox, Notion allows us to choose to display the percent checked as the calculation. And so that's gonna be a nice representation of the project's progress. 
So like I said, all of these example databases are going to be available for your reference as you become familiar with rollups. I'll link to that template from the video description. And there are a lot of nuances associated with the use of rollups. Inevitably, you'll encounter a few obstacles that you'll probably resolve on your own through some tinkering. One example is that you can't roll up a roll up. So for example, you can't choose a roll up property for the property setting here, but there are typically workarounds. So you can experiment with them on your own and anytime you get stuck, feel free to tweet at me at William Nutt.